There are so many things happening uh, in, in the world around us and so many things changing. I think there's, there's one thing that I just want to pick out and that's, that's online. Um, and in case anybody has any doubts about online, uh, in 2015 we'll have 15 billion devices connected to the internet. So when you talk about change, that's very significant. If you, if you see what that does online to the way consumers behave, so they'll have 24-7 access to uh, the internet, fixed and mobile. Uh, they will expect enterprises to do similar things. Uh, the social media are out there, um, more access to information, so customers are better educated. They, they have multiple channels, so traditionally retail, but now it's online, it's retail, it's by phone, and we as businesses need to respond uh, to that. So I think that's one really big change, the access to the online environment for customers. Better educated, uh, knowledgeable, um, and, 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 and they want it all the time. The second big change due to online is obviously social networking. You can build and destroy a great brand in a very short space of time by not, let's say, fake, paying attention to social media. So the power for the, is now with the consumer. If they put something on the internet, and if you realize that there's 800 million posts on Facebook every single day, yeah, there's 250 million Twitter messages every day, and I just literally let this morning that there's, I think, 5 billion WhatsApp messages every day. Um, the amount of information that goes online and how fast it goes can literally destroy a business, and we as businesses need to be prepared to deal with that. So what we need is an, an online strategy and a social media strategy to really integrate all this into our company strategy. It's not an add-on, it should be core and front and center in our plans. Maybe best to answer that with, a, uh, with, with, with an example. Um, and it may be, sound like a strange example because I'll use Vodafone as an example, which you would expect. But also, um, th there's a company, uh, it's, it's a butcher in County Tipperary, um, a, a James Whelan, very traditional butcher. Um, the current managing director, Pat, uh, at some point in time decided to use online, so there's an online uh, uh, site, uh, to use Twitter to contact the customers. That may not sound like it's really revolutionary, but in a very traditional, small SME um, in County Tipperary in, in the butcher environment, that is quite unique. And now this company sells the bulk of their business actually across the country and even overseas. And this is just a small example that when somebody says, yeah, but all this new stuff, all this technology, all this new, is not for me because it doesn't work for my business. I like to use this as an example because it's a great example of somebody who realizes that the world has changed, that the business needs to change with that. Why? Because the customers have changed. His customers have changed the way they buy things, that in even the way they buy meat. And for him to be able to send out messages into Twitter that there is a great weekend coming and therefore the hamburgers and the barbecue sauces or whatever are on sale on the Friday. And he sells more that way than he would have ever done before. So that's a great example of how I think businesses embrace the new technology and new developments. And Vodafone does it of course as well, but you would expect that. But we did a more integral approach where we actually say if the world around us changes that quickly and that much with a different economy, different regulatory environment and the intense competition and you go from a fast growing business to a declining business, you need to look at yourself and think what do we need to do different. And this is where we embrace our new ways of working where we change leadership, we change culture, we change our office environment, the way we work, much more flexible, bringing the customer into our business uh, to, in order to respond quicker to, uh, to the environment. There clearly is a, is a gap. Um, and also on a search, I really believe that the opportunity is there. So again here you could look at the question, UK does this versus Ireland, is the opportunity here in Ireland? I believe so. And some of the proof is there. Uh, today customers uh, buy about 3 billion euros worth of online goods. Um, but 70% of that actually go, goes up, of that money goes overseas because this is the great thing of online. It doesn't matter where the shop is, you buy it, but the money goes overseas. We should be able to keep a lot more of that money here. And one of the proof points of why we're behind is exactly the, the statistics around Irish businesses. We talked about it, and I mentioned this last year at your event. Um, even today, still, no real change from last year. 66% of businesses, uh, only 66% of businesses have let's say an online site. But worse, only 21% of businesses actually have e-commerce capabilities. 
And that's a pretty shockingly low statistic in today's economic and online environment. So we have to, let's say, facilitate that businesses start to use this more. And I think one of the key things is that the government needs to create an environment, lead by example, but also create an environment where investments in IT, in infrastructure, and in the right education uh, mo remove the barriers, uh, find ways to incentivize business to use online, use modern technologies, because that's the only way to unleash it. So I think it's down to us as an industry working with the government, and the minister, of course, has, has, has a great initiative with the Next Generation Broadband Task Force, but we now really need to go ahead and deliver against that. And secondly, I already used the word education. I really believe we need to fundamentally change the educational system in Ireland and countries around us um, in order for young kids to really learn how to best use technology because they will grow and flow into the workforce in the next few years and they need to be equipped to deal with what the world is offering to them and that is not suited for in today's uh, educational system. The simplest thing is to start really small. So if YouTube is out there and customers go to YouTube, uh, use it. So if we have a new phone on the market or we have a new service on the market, um, we are now starting to use YouTube as a channel to put small films, uh, simple films, explaining how to do the settings on a phone or how to change from one service to the next or how to use the cloud. So it's things like that. And to use our own online platform and to use things like click to chat Nothing revolutionary, but if we as business start using it, customers start using it, then it becomes a sort of like an ecosystem in itself. And I think it, it, we have to start small with these things, um, and then there will always be entrepreneurial companies, in particular in a country like Ireland, that has always been known for entrepreneurial spirit. There will be companies who realize that there's an opportunity in the online space, in the MCARE space, in the digital area, um, and then companies will, will, will flourish. But we all just need to start using whatever the customer is using today. If they're on Facebook, use Facebook. If they're on Twitter, use Twitter. And then we will see where it ends up. <laughs>